Hi guys, so today I'm actually at Curve and as we walked here, we saw that there is a new place which is quite interesting. So I'm going to take you guys there and show you guys the place, okay? So this is actually a very, very, very new place. They just opened four days ago. So you guys can see. It's just right in front of Chicken Rice Shop. Right beside the escalator at Curve. Okay, so come on. Let's go try it out. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Hot Thank you. Okay, so this is the name of the place. Thank you. Okay, guys, so look at the place. It's dinner time. Thank you so much. Okay, AJ, go and sit, baby. Go and sit. It's dinner time, and you can already see that there's this many people. It's very, very new. They just opened four days ago. So this is the place, right? AJ, come and sit. So this is their menu, guys, right? If you want wagyu, they also have wagyu, and you can choose four soups. Four soups, right? Yeah. Four soups. Yeah. So you guys can choose four soups out of eight, and let's see what they have at the buffet table. So we have crabs, prawns, wow, is that prawns or shrimp? Uh, that's prawns. Prawns. That is more prawns. Wow, yummy. Ah, that's good to know. Okay, then over here, we have marinated chicken, barbecue chicken, turmeric, then they also have beef. Right, they have lamb, and guys, this is a halal place, so you do not have pork here. Yeah, so you have chicken, you have lamb, you have beef. Okay, so you guys really got to try. And then we have a salad, this salad, right? Salad bar, salad bar. look at the greens, they are so fresh. See. Okay, here, fruits bar, pineapples, watermelon, okay, let's go next, wow, yummy desserts, there you go, And major for children. Yummy. And I'm on your way. We have marshmallow and the chocolate tower. Oh, look at this. If you are mushroom fans, shimmy joke mushroom, shiitake mushroom, pink oysters mushroom, and the shimmy mushroom. You can make yourself whatever you like. 
get to custom make your sauces guys you have egg also right move baby thank you All these are included in the buffet price, guys. So you get to take this. All you get to enjoy coffee. You get to enjoy all sorts of tea. You get to get soda drinks, cool drinks. You get to use all this for your ice cream. Oh my god, guys. So let's get going to our table and start to enjoy the food yeah so we have a lady boss here and we want to find out what are their best soups that she would recommend for us okay we have eight different soup here but uh, you may choose uh, maybe mala and then do you like tom yum tom yeah tom yum tom yum and then uh, mushroom soup do you like mushroom yeah, okay, mushroom soup and one fish more Is that alright? Okay, so we have one tom yum. Yeah. Okay, and then we have, uh, what was the other one you recommended? Mala. Mala, and then? And then uh, fish more. Fish more, and? And then the other one is mushroom. Mushroom soup. Yeah. So guys, these are the best four that they recommend. So let's try them and yeah, let's try them. Okay? Thank you. So, uh, will you teach us how to use all this and what uh, yeah, it? You just have to dip the oil. Okay. And then you can uh, really warm it later. Here. Oh, okay. So, what what's the difference between that and this? Uh, actually, there are two. Uh, the same veggie, they are vegetable oil, uh -huh. veggie oil. So you just need those to for you to grill. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Later. So, guys, you can also place your order for non-marinated meat slices for your soups okay for, for, for kids right guys you know they are hungry they get hungry fast they can't wait for the food to cook so they have got choices such as nuggets and fruits and you know so much of things that they can eat while waiting for the meats and all that to cook this is what we have taken for the first round we have taken some seafood we have taken some marinated meats we have taken some of the sides here and we are going to wait for the soups to come and i will definitely give you guys a review I'm trying the 
whatever I put inside the mala soup and let's give it a try. So I have my soto here. The soto is really very fresh. The mala soup, for those of you who love spicy, you guys really need to try the mala. The mala is really mala soup. Okay? It's like really spicy. You can taste the herbs that they use. It's really good. Flavors are there. And when you put in your mushrooms, your mushrooms absorb the flavor. It's so good. So now I am going to try the tom yum. Okay, so let's see the flavor of the tom yum soup. The pudas is chukup chukup pudas. It's not like over spicy, right? Once again, the flavors are all there. It's really good. So anything you put inside literally absorbs all the flavors inside. You can taste the lemongrass. You can taste the tomatoes. And the, and the seafood is so fresh. Okay, I have uh, scallops and I'm going to try one. Juicy and nice, guys. It's really so juicy and good. Once again, sotong. Did I mention they also have crabs? Yeah, they have crabs, guys, and it's also free flow for everyone, okay? So, I'm gonna try the crabs. I'm gonna use my hands. You cannot enjoy crabs without using hands. Look at the flesh. Nice. Look at the flesh. The meat is so sweet. Oh my god, it's so good. There's so much of flesh in it, okay? say this but I usually go and eat steamboat. I love steamboat, okay? I have gone to so many places but when you put your food in, the soup is no flavor. It's the things that you put in that gives the soup flavor. But this place, this place, each and every one of their soup has its own flavor. So like Whatever you put in, it absorbs the flavor from the soup, not the other way around. And it is so good, it tastes so good. The flavors are all there. And when you are taking it, you're enjoying it, you can taste the flavors literally burst in your mouth. Okay guys, over here, you have sliced meats that you can put into your soups. Because we have the marinated one for barbecue. This one is for steamboat. I have taken one, put inside the same mushroom soup. Let's try. Mm. Once again, the meats have absorbed the flavor from the soup. And it tastes really, really good. And yet, once again, the meats are so soft and tender, it's not tough, you can really enjoy it. Seriously, it's so good. 
Guys, I want to show you how thick the prawns are. Look at how thick it is. Can you guys see how thick the flesh is? Okay guys, so see? Look at how thick the prawn is. See how thick the prawn is? And it's so thick, it's so flavorful because you absorb the flavor from the soup. It's still so juicy. It's so good, guys. Seriously, the prawns are huge. You have to come grab them. Seriously. Mm. Okay, guys. So for the final soup, we have our fish maw soup. Okay, and I have put in some chicken slices into the soup. So let's try it. Cheers! I would say among the three, the four soups, this is something that doesn't really fit my taste buds. But the flavors are still there. It's still good. I think the reason why it doesn't taste my, it doesn't suit my taste buds is because it has a little bit fishy taste to the soup, right? So the taste is there, the flavors are there, it's really good. person who likes um, seafood like you know the fishy taste and all that then definitely give this a try it's good as I said all their soups the flavors are there the flavors are there I'm going in with the barbecue meats and let's try them this is I think meat Someone like me who loves sweet stuff but cannot take two sweet things, I'll definitely go for this. 
This is the one with the blue bullet and the ubi I think on top. So let's give it a try. Cheers! We are able to find this, right? But when you makan, the sugar in the kacang is so, so, so strong. Too much overpowers it. You are not able to taste any other thing except for the sugar. Well, when you eat this, that's not the case. You get to taste every single thing in it. Now, they also give, as you saw earlier, they also have tarts. Fruit tarts, cheese tarts, chocolate tarts. I took the fruit tart and the chocolate tart. So let's give the fruit tart a taste. Cheers. You have the creaminess. 
sourness of the cream, sourness from the fruits, and you do not taste anything sweet like sugar. Okay, honestly, I have to tell you, I love desserts, but I have to stop myself. I have to stop myself from taking desserts because it's too sweet. There's too much of sugar in it. So therefore. Normally, I don't take too much of desserts because there's too much of sugar in it. But right now, this one is just good. It's so nice. I think I can indulge in each and every one of the desserts here. person like me, you like Kuei Mui, this is the place to come indulge in it.